soup. And the game. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to do another 60 seconds challenge. This time suggested by Kyla Tar, and it is called the Fat Man Challenge. And we're going to, well, rescue only Mary Jane, our daughter, as much food and water as possible. And then we're going to, well, try to survive for 50 days. That is the objective. Um in our bunker. And again, this was suggested by Kalatar. Thanks for everyone who's been sending in suggestions. There are so many. They're really a whole lot, and I barely get to read them all. Hey, Wheatley. There's the bird. And I'm ready to start. All right, let's go oh, Fat Man difficulty. Let's begin our adventure. And hopefully I can get all the food and water, at least as much po as possible. So if I miss a can or two, that's, that's just how it goes. I'll try my best. Also, I should probably put my webcam down. Um, all right, no, you're not. You're not going to be saved. Sorry, wife. Sorry, just just your daughter, just your daughter. But but your genes will live on. Your genes will live on through her. If we don't die, what you know usually happens. But who knows? Maybe, maybe we have a good day and survive with this setup. It is a really rescue setup, so considering that we don't have guns, we don't we don't have anything else other than food and water. Um, also, I really gotta make sure to bring my daughter. That would be a shame if I... Hey, Timmy, how's it going? Yeah, let me just ruin everything in your room. Where is where is Mary Jane? Did I already throw her down? I am always really bad because I'm commentating, so I'm not really good at remembering what I grabbed, but I didn't see her anywhere. Okay, look at all that soup. That's gonna... It's gonna... Oh, never mind. Yeah, there she is with her little... Tuba, Euphonia, I, for, I forgot what it was. It's it's not a tuba, it's too small for a tuba. All right, give me that, and do I see any more food and water? Uh, even if I do, I don't have enough time, so let's just uh, hope we got most of it. I do think we should be fine. And do this, guys, we can do this. We can survive for 50 days, that's the challenge, and I will try my best to do so. All right, hey Mary Jane. Oh, look at us. We actually have seven cans of food and seven bottles of water. I think that is the Mexico maximum you can get. It might be eight, but I think actually the seven. So yes, we got all the food, all the water, just our daughter, and we can do this. At least the two of us made it. If only we had a smaller house and less slippery floors. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans, probably. And plenty of water means we don't have to worry. Okay, here's the thing. Since I don't have anything else, and if the first radar comes by, I can't do anything anymore. I'm screwed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that, well, we get anything else. So I will send Mary Jane scavenging. Even though she might get sick, and if she doesn't bring a med kit, it's going to look bad for her. But we really have to send someone out. We're not a big fan of our strange smelling shelter, but when it started to smell fire burning, where would it even burn out of cans of soup on fire? Possibly. Possibly. But doesn't doesn't matter to us because we don't have any items. That is the nice advantage that comes from not having anything. <laughs> we rushed right into the frames trying to put them out as quickly as possible. We were able to stop the fire before it did any real damage. Like, you know, boil our soup. Mary Jane is very thirsty. Ted doesn't drink. He won't last very long. Yeah, he'll be fine. All right, you go, you go, girl. You got this. I, I, tr in in Mary Jane, we trust. Let's hope Ted doesn't go crazy in those few days that he's completely alone in the bunker. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Yes, yes, he needs company. Otherwise, King Sock Puppet will be back. Well, it's day five. It's time for some water. Usually, I forget that. I actually recorded this one and then I forgot to give him water at day five I'm I'm it happens way too many times you wouldn't believe it's it's ridiculous but an average of three attempts to record an episode are fine are fine all right day six some mornings we feel a bit hopeless we need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic the army can't be far well well let me tell you from experience, it's it's far off, very far off. But let's not steal his 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 hope. We're stood away from casinos. Ooh, someone wanted to gamble with us for things we don't need. He would gamble for food or water. We really don't need any of that. We're actually really well prepared. And Ted is hungry. Well, Ted, here's some food. Here you go. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. Oh no, it's gonna steal a can of soup. I already know it. They they steal they steal a whole can of soup. Oh, what two? Two cans? 
Not the bird. No, only one can. Okay. Hey. So, I gave him a little bit of food. Then he had six. Yeah, actually, okay. Okay, we did not have eight. We had, sorry. We had seven cans of food. Just wanted to make sure. All wishes, all he wishes for is water. No, Ted. No water. You let the rat get away with the soup. You're not gonna get any water. Hey, Mary Jane, you're sick. But you brought a med kit. So you got that going on. All right, let's see. It turned out that calling ambulance is not an option anymore. We reached the hospital. It is in ruins. Ruins. There were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Perks, I do not. Water's water. And beggars can be choosers. Two bottles of water. Not that we need any of that stuff. At a med kit. A gas mask and an axe. An axe is really great and really helpful because it's gonna keep us alive against raiders. Or it's gonna kill silly rats that try to steal our food. No more. Alright, she has contracted an illness, but I'm gonna give her a med kit. Um, also, she needs water, probably. Uh, and food. You can you can have that, and Ted gets stuff tomorrow. Alright, we're gonna prepare an expedition. We're gonna send out Ted tomorrow. Remember that time Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got back, she had a wound on her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like someone had bitten her. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're not gonna use the medkit right away. We're gonna wait for that event to blow over, and then we're going to use the medkit. Um, because I'm a little bit worried that I use the medkit and then says, Oh, Mary Jane's wound is still infected. It, it happens. It happens. And it is quite annoying, to be honest. You already, like, like, throw medicine on her, and then one day later, oh, looks like my wound got infected. Oh, so you patched her up, but you didn't give a damn about the gaping, oozing wound she had? All right, good job on the patching up. Mary Jane will be fine. It's not the first time, it would be the last time she's sick. I'll, I'll take care of her. Mary Jane is quite hungry, and Ted looked like he got one foot in the grave. Okay, I'm gonna give her one more soup, and I'm gonna give her the med kit. Water for everyone again. And we're gonna send Ted out. Ah, best choice for the expedition is, of course, a Ted. Teddy boy, you got this Ted. Yeah, she looks just tired and fatigued. Just tired, actually, not fatigued. I, I can't tell the difference. Mary Jane is quite hungry and is all well now. Ted left for the surface. All right, Ted, you got this. Bring us back another med kit and a radio and a map and all the other useful things that we don't have. Then we might have a chance. Without a radio, we're screwed, McDuck. All right, Mary Jane says she's fine. She doesn't need anything. I like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> radio event not happening. What can you do? Hope for radio, I would say. Dum, 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 dum. All right, uh, did we get anything? No, not really, nothing new. If there's one thing we don't need to do, it's to use a radio. <laughs> no, we do need to do that. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Uh, nah, we can wait two more days. It's day 13. They complain for three days. Day 13, 14, and 15, and then 15, you gotta give them something. Got it pretty, pretty nailed down to a sign. Sometimes the, 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 the time switches up. It's odd. They say ignorance is a bliss. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Yeah, okay, food, food is fine. Food you can have. And like this man on the other side, oh, someone wants to trade ammunition or food for ammunition. Dear man, I do not have ammunition but i have plenty of food so you can go and leave me alone look at ted ted is actually doing okay and is that all you brought never mind ted has safely returned from his voyage the prod ellison hotel was completely destroyed one can of soup one bottle of water a checkers board and a flashlight problem was the mask was damaged okay we're gonna wait a few days um just a quick look if we were followed uh no didn't say anything along those lines okay Gasmus was damaged. Ted is hungry. Okay, water for both, and Ted is hungry. All right, just want to get on the same schedule again. Uh, currently, they're both just done, so they're a little bit burned out. We're gonna have to wait a few more days until we can send them again. But I think we're in a much better shape than at the beginning. I, I mean, way better shape. Look at, look at the food and the soup. I mean, how much water do we have? 8.5 bottles, 5.75 food still, and a flashlight now. Happy. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, you get a second can of food, but after that he should be fine. Uh, yeah, looks all good to me. Nothing to prepare. And Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's her special day for her today. Wait, did you get your... Is, that, is, aunt, is, is the red aunt coming? Oh, it's your birthday! Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm not, not good with that. Well, day 17. 
it's her birthday. She didn't go crazy, so that's that's a good thing. Mary's too old for birthdays. That's what we think. Yeah, exactly. You, you stop having birthdays after 13. Mary Jane is worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Ted is hungry. Hungry, hungry Ted Peppo. I gave you two cans of food. I don't have to give you anything. I gave you a whole toucan. Uh, we can sit on our backsides. That's fine. No radio. Who needs a radio anyway, right? Oh, Mary Jane looks totally fine. I think we can send her out again. Mary Jane is rested. She's thirsty. Yeah, Ted is hungry. I'm not going to give him anything. But we're preparing an expedition for tomorrow. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter. We suspect there's something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but how? We need to investigate. Yes, let's shine our... Ah, flashlight in there. That's that's always a good idea. That, that never goes wrong. Well, he got hurt. Great. Good job, Ted. Good job. One thing. The obvious thing to do when an event is blocked is to check what's blocking it. I agree. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the insect did some biting before they fled. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yes, 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 yes. Ted is hungry. Ted, why are you still hungry? I thought I gave you... All right, I'm going to give you that, but I'm going to send Mary Jane out to scavenge supplies. Even though Ted is now hurt, which worries me a little bit. Let's hope uh, the wounds heal by themselves, or that we get a medkit. Yeah, you got one foot in the grave. I bet you do. Here's some water. You better heal up, my friend. Silence is really disturbing. I wish I had a radio. We, we do not. We... I hear radio static, which is really odd for a day transition, but it's not going to help us. There's nothing here. Maybe if we try real hard, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. No. Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight. Well, Ted, you're not a pretty sight. Thank you very much. I like Ted. No, seriously. Cool dude. Cool dude. If he would stop bleeding and dying, that'd be even better. As long as we're safe, we can stay calm down here. By the way, how did they get all the... I mean, he looks already bandaged up. He has a band-aid there. Where did you get that from? I mean, why would you even need more? Is there anything we can do about Ted's injuries? No, 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 no. There's nothing we can do and there's nothing we can listen to. We're all given to our mental illness. I mean, I have to survive until till day 50. Doesn't matter if the military comes or not. I would love for the military to come and us to get a radio, but that's not going to happen. So, uh, if we don't do something about those injuries, things will go get ugly. Poor, poor Ted can't take it for much longer. Why couldn't my daughter get injured? Why not my daughter? Oh, he's sick. Oh, that's great. Mary Jane, please bring back a med kit. Oh, man. Ted got sick. That's, that's no good. No bueno. As we're considering alternatives to the canned soup, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. Yes, let's give them some water. We got plenty of water. I mean, we're not gonna go through that. Even if both of us drink all of it. They gave us a map! See? That's why it pays off to give survivors goods. They will give you something in return. A map! That's kind of nice. Uh, they were eager to repair us and one of that group offered us a map of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here so it brought luck upon whoever used it. And then they got lost because they gave away their map. And died. The end. Ted's stomach is rumbling. All right, Ted. You get water, you get food, and let's hope that your daughter comes back. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. It's 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 spiders, and Mary Jane is not around. Great. That that would have been great. But now you're here. One day afterwards. Okay. You did not bring a med kit. That is really. That is bad. We have an empty first aid kit, but not a first aid kit. What did you bring? A can of soup and two bottles of water. That's all I'm getting here. <sighs> all right, well, all right. Let's let's roll with this, guys. Let's roll with this. Uh food and water for her. Yeah, you want you want nobody's going out. We we can't send anyone. We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game. I don't care, good man. I don't care. I'm well fed. I'm just dying. Of whatever sepsis, I assume. Gambling is a terrible habit. Mary Jane Stide could use a little food. Ted is still sick. You know what? Here. Guys, here. Have food and water. Have, have food and water. Whatever might help you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm gladly throwing it at them at this point. Uh, he's still coughing. Ted, don't give up. I'm gonna feed you. 
Uh, Mary Jane is hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. More food. Just throw all the food at them. I mean, we have plenty of item, other items, which would prove useful if we had a radio for the military. You just gotta stay alive 20 more days. 20 more days, Ted. Alright, I think they're, they're fine. They don't need anything. Yeah, they're, they don't need anything. Ah, we were looking across the map when we came across a few markings that were not original. I can't send anyone. Both are super fatigued or sick and dying. One of those two. Stay 30. Ted is still shaking. Ted never stops shaking. He's going to become our new heat source. We're going to attach a generator to him. Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight. Didn't cause any trouble. All right. I'm going to give you food and water anyway. Just get you all on the same schedule again. Because otherwise I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, you don't need anything until day 35. I'm just trying out my theory that if I give them a lot of food, they're going to feel better. Ted might have some nasty scars if those wounds ever heal. That does sound... That does sound very positive. If they ever heal. <laughs> well, okay, it's not gonna help us. But, yeah, you can't send anyone out to the telephone booth. Both are, like, kind of just tired and exhausted. I wish I could. It was too dangerous to go outside. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble. Ted is still suffering from his injuries. Ted, I'm trying here. I'm trying my best. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. We have to leave eventually. Yes. I mean... Can we just, like, get a backpack and just go on a hike together out into the radioactive wasteland? Yeah, we're not going to survive that. Mary, water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Ted doesn't drink anything. He won't last long. You know what? I'll give you water and again on day 35. I don't want them to, like, get completely dehydrated if they're sick. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but you can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. It is not! And we can't do anything. We don't have a gas mask or a Boy Scout book, so let's see what happens if we don't. It's the end. Well... Would you look at that? If you get the green oozing stuff, Mary Jane will turn into a mutant. But too late, because Ted just died. We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to pipe, none whatsoever. Ted's wounds were too serious to leave untreated. They became infected and took Ted's life. Yeah, he, he didn't survive those days. But hey, that is pretty nice. Did not know that Mary Jane could turn into a mutant thanks to the pipes. That's really helpful. Yes, Teddy boy. I Everything came too late. We couldn't help him. That was the Fat Man Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, we didn't make the 50 days. If you guys have ideas for challenges, anything goes. Um, I'm interested to read them. Leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you see one that you personally think would be really awesome to play, just like it. Then I see it better. And I know you guys would love to see it. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button. He likes it. I'm Weasel. I'm out. I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.